Trisha Mukim is saying very clearly that this man will not resign on his own. He has over and over and over again stepped out to say, I am not resigning. But this is a general who has lost the war. A situation that should have been controlled within 8 days, 18 days, 28 days, 38 days, 48 days has gone on for 82 days. You have seen what has happened over the weekend as well. Where is the reluctance to sack this chief minister? Under whose watch 160 people have died, an 80-year-old grandmother has been burnt to death, at least three women we know have been gang raped. Two have been killed. What is the reluctance uh, on the part of the BJP to sack him? Nobody is telling you to put in a Congress chief minister. All you're being told is, yes, Manipur has been given, has given the BJP the mandate. Just replace him with another BJP leader. Who's, that will be part of the solution. This man is not part of the solution, clearly. He's part of the problem. Uh, absolutely, Shaya. You know, uh, I would go beyond just uh, you know asking him to resign. You know, he should not only be sacked because he's got blood on his hands. In fact, there should be an inquiry, an impartial uh, judicial inquiry against him to pin responsibility for all the crimes that he has committed. He has deliberately made the state machinery look the other way while. Well, innumerable atrocities and travesty of the law have been committed. Uh, you know, just one instance, for for instance, like he has allowed the looting of the police armory. No action has been taken against all the looters. He has allowed Maiti radical organizations to have a field day spreading venom against another community. And what is most important is he does, he has lost the complete trust and faith of 25% of the state's population, which is the cookies. Okay, he, okay, he may be a hero to many Maitis, but I know I have friends in Manipur, a number of sane, level-headed Maitis, uh, you know, they do not like him at all. They, they feel that he, and rightly so, they feel that he has become a huge embarrassment and a liability not only for Manipur but also the entire country. This man should be criminally prosecuted, not just sacked, should be criminally prosecuted.